Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Apocalypse Toast, and I'm playing Space Engine. Space Engine was just recently, in the past few days, updated to 0 0.97. And it has a few big things. And one of them you'll notice over here is there's comets. There's two comets back there. There's a comet over there. There's two more over there. Uh, one of the bugs that's unfortunately joined its way into the patch is that it's hard to click on things the game isn't isn't uh recognizing mouse inputs something like that so if we bring up the map we can look at the comments this way and we can click on them this way so we'll head to this comment now again i'm playing on low graphics just to avoid any possible crashes However, the update has really retooled the engine. I have not crashed once since starting it up again. So if you've ever wanted to ride a comet and view the universe from the jagged edges of a comet, this game is for you. There's a comet over there. That's another galaxy. That's Andromeda. We must be in the Milky Way right now. That's what it looks like. Especially if we can see Andromeda. So that's all neat and good. Comets. Comets may or may not be visible from planets, depending on the atmosphere. So, that's all good. Let's take a look at the other thing that's just been added uh, I believe it's this one yep now this oh, that's the side of a planet this is a I found this planet um, a nice giant with green rings so I thought I save it because it was cool but what's even more interesting is this planet da 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 that's an aurora an aurora. Let's take a look, 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 see down here. So now you can really make, and also has like a green kind of atmosphere. It's like it looks kind of poisonous, to be honest. Oh, I lost it. Nah, uh, I fucked it up. Where'd it go? There it is. Going too fast for my own good. Slow it down. So now you can really take some good screenshots. Turn up the graphics, have all these textures load in properly, all the size mapping, elevation mapping, I think is what I meant to say. So auroras. Now you on the lookout for auroras. How hot is this planet? 96.78 kelvins. That is rather cold in Fahrenheit, if I'm not mistaken. This planet... Uh, just for your sake, this planet, I am not actually in the Milky Way. I am in a cluster of stars next to the Milky Way. So what you're looking at right there is the entire Milky Way. Quite interesting, quite interesting. Well, that's enough of that. There's some other things. Uh, for example, evaporating planets. And those are basically planets that have tails. Uh, they kind of look like they're burning. It's like a gas giant that's burning all of its atmosphere. I have not seen one of those, but I'll definitely document it when I do. These things right here, these clouds, I don't believe those are in uh, prior to 0 0.97. Those are also filled with uh, planets and stars as well. But that's enough of that. Uh, I think we're going to now find a planet with life. There, you can see the clouds. Uh, as soon as all the stars and galaxies load in here in a moment. What I think I'm going to do is find a planet with life that's off in deep space. Somewhere far away in a distant galaxy. I am not... My galaxies aren't loading. I think I'm missing a setting or something. Galaxies... Uh, view... 
I turned all these off because these are markers. I don't really care about those. Hmm. I think I'm... Oh, oh galaxies. Yeah, I'm missing something here because there should be galaxies everywhere. Well, we'll just use the map. That's the Milky Way and all the stars within the Milky Way. So let's zoom out. And let's... So there's some more galaxies. Let's go far away. Far away. We'll go to the edge. <laughs> we'll go to this one right, right there. If the gate game is having some problems loading stuff. So this is a galaxy way, way far away. Let's let's zoom on in and let's find a planet with life. That's rather fast. Da, 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 da. Here we are. In a galaxy far away. So, let's just click on some stars. Again, I can't click on anything because... Because... The game has problems with the inputs right now. So this might take a bit longer than usual. Because you got If you click really fast, it doesn't pick it up. So you gotta just kind of take your time. There's one. That didn't take too long. A triple system with orange dwarf. Triple. It says triple. What does that mean? I guess that means there's three stars, right? Yeah. Let's make it a little cool. Let me slow down so I don't shoot off into the known blackness. So we get a little closer though. Just a little. Nope. <laughs> uh, triple. It looks like it's just two, but I'm not. I don't understand. I don't know what triple means. My apologies. Let me take a look at the map, and then we'd know what it is. Uh, what's going on here? That's the center point. That's a star, and this is a star. That's weird. Yeah, these are weird. This orbit is... I've never seen that. This orbit is outside of this one. It also has a few planets that are orbiting the whole system. All together, and these are all asteroids. All these white dots, if I'm not mistaken, are asteroids. Okay, enough of that. Let's find the planet. Uh, da, da, da. It's probably... Nope, there it was. It's an Oceana. Oceana. Oce I can't... I have a horrible speech impediment. Uh, we might have to find another one, because water planets are just... Whatever. It's full of water. How many moons? It's got a lot. It's got a lot of moons. Yeah, this doesn't look terribly interesting. It's just water. Let's go to this one. This is a pretty common type of moon. <laughs> that same color and same features is covered in craters that have washed it over like that. Okay, I've lost the planet. Where did it go? There it goes. Looks like they're all this way. How about the farthest one? Yeah, they all look pretty much the same. Uh, don't no bothering going down to the surface. We've we've done that. We've been there. What else can we find here? An ice giant, a desert plant, or yeah, a desert because it's getting burned up by the sun. Or the star, I mean. There's an aurora. Wow, that is orange. Uh, let's take a look. Let's go down there where it's brown right there. Oh, wrong button. This button. Come on, game. You can do it. You can do it. Ooh. Uh, yeah, come on. All right. There's a star. Quite visible. Quite visible from here. Oh, I might sneeze. Hey, this is pretty interesting looking. This is neat. It's definitely what it is. A desert planet. Whoa. Big. Big, uh 
crater. Big crater with smaller crater. Might have to take a screenshot of this. Let's, um... Let's save it. We'll make this as... Planet with life video. Shoot. That way we can always come back here. Let's get the sun in the corner. The rule of thirds. Yes, yes. Rule of thirds. That looks good. Uh, let me level out right there. Well, I've been sitting here for a little bit, and it's still loading. But I think, I don't think I'm going to miss out on any, like, major texture. So we'll take the screenshot. Uh, it didn't take, I don't think. There it goes. I'll take one with fraps. Okay. So that is... Planet with Life 2 plus some updates. Like before, if I find an evaporating star, I will definitely, definitely uh, save it and take a look at it later for the interwebs. But for now, it, my game is loading quite slow, so we'll end it there. We'll come back another time. Yada yada. Have a good rest of your weekend or uh, day or whatever time it is when you watch this. And I'll see you next time.